hey internet pals, uh, place is a bit of a disaster right now because I'm in the middle of redoing my ventilation, but um, Dan had a comment about the magic staple, magic staple, uh, and being able to use a magic staple connector for um, a stop button, which I guess, um, I guess is not obvious, but uh, yeah, it's not a thing that just presses in on something, that's an electrical connection. And I guess his point was that uh, people might not realize that. So I cobbed together something really quickly here just to um, demo the concept. Nothing special at all. Um, I had this um, power off switch. Uh, I guess I should have done this one was disassembled, but there we go. Here's another one. Um, so one of these things. These are cheap and crap, and basically they have a normally closed uh, and a normally open switch on the bottom, so you can set it up so, uh, there, you go. there you go, when you hit this button, it opens the switch. Nothing fancy there. These, uh, I definitely would not run AC voltage through these. I think they say that they're rated yeah, 660 volts, 10 amps. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, so I only use these for low voltage and then have them trigger a relay or something like that. But in any event, it's a handy switch and it's an easy to hit button. So despite the fact that it says emergency stop on it, it's, this is not a legal rated EPO button or anything like that. And because, uh, so I just put on there a, uh, just a, RJ11 phone connector because I wanted some way to be able to locate this button somewhere. So then on the back here, again, this is this is pretty ugly right now, but there's just a phone jack connector, and I'm just using the center two um, center pair, the red and the green in this style, and um, I put some crimp on connectors on the end there to, to make them fit in there more snugly. I don't really know what size and wire that is. It's pretty beefy and it's pretty picky. So if you don't have just the right size, it either won't go in or it pulls out. So um, rather than try to look up the specs or anything or figure out if that's sort of some kind of standard connector, uh, focus. Um, anyway, point is, I've gone on for too long. The point is that is just wired to this switch. So nothing special at all. And the idea is, um, it's at least a convenient way, since when the thing's running, this button doesn't do anything. And we all agree that it would be nice if you could press that button and stop it. And we don't really want to have to lift the lid, because then the smoke gets out. So what you can do, I'll just put this in the, in the shot here. So what you can do is just hit that. And when you hit that, the uh, machine will stop. Of course, it stops under software control. We wait a few seconds, there we go. It stops under software control, which might not be ideal for uh, emergencies, fire and things like that. Um, there might, you know, if you're in a commercial environment, there might be some regulations that you need to be able to cut the power. Um, this continues to run the exhaust fan for 10 seconds and so on. But what it is, is it's basically the please stop now button. It's exactly equivalent, it seems, to clicking stop in the web UI. So um, all this really does is give me a convenient way to uh, to be able to click that button without walking over to the computer and clicking it, which is, you know, exactly what I want in some sense. So <clears throat> now I do have to remember with these, because this is a latching button, that uh, you have to unlatch it in order to make the machine work again. This, the way this is set up, this would work perfectly fine with a momentary switch. In fact, I think I could take some springs out of there and make that a momentary switch, but um, it's good enough for now, and it's very satisfying to hit that. These are not designed to be used a lot, also, um, even the good ones. So uh, there's that. And then the other thing for the future, what I was thinking of doing, and that's why I've, I've sort of already put this here, um, this is a little power relay box that if you run five volts inside, then it will enable these two outlets. And 
when you stop running five volts in the side, it disables those two outlets. So this could actually be a power off. And the idea I'm thinking for the next version of this is when I hit this button, it does what it does now. So it sends the signal to the machine and the machine does its orderly shutdown, but it also starts a timer. And after 15 seconds, it then cuts the power here, which will then cut the power to the Glowforge and also to my uh, exhaust fan booster. So in the event that there were an actual sort of emergency type situation, I could hit this, uh, let the Glowforge stop, maybe I even want to continue to have the exhaust for, for 10 or 15 seconds, and then it'll power off uh, on its own. And uh, it's just, you know, not necessary, but kind of for fun. Anyway, I'm rambling on too long, but yeah, so if you want, you know, go ahead, if you've got a pro, go ahead and make use of that connector on the back and uh, hook up a little uh, button to it and uh, you have a convenient way of aborting a job.